Hello everyone, welcome to Reality Check. I'm Cam. Did you know that there's an estimated 5 million different species of fungi right here on planet Earth? But in the world of The Last of Us, Naughty Dog's latest post-apocalyptic adventure game, there is just one fungus on everybody's mind. Literally. Because it infects the mind. So, could one of Earth's real-life 5 million fungi ever infect mankind like this? I need to remind you what is out there. For the uninitiated, The Last of Us tells the story of two characters, Joel and Ellie, and their bid for survival in the harsh, post-pandemic United States, populated by countless zombie-like infected. The cordyceps brain infection is a neural parasite which grows within a living host, slowly spreading through body and mind, impairing mental function until eventually it sprouts these highly infectious sporing bodies through any available orifice. The host then eventually dies, leaving a decaying, disease-spreading corpse. Lovely. The disease also messes with the behavior though, causing, well, amongst other things, just the teensiest bit of aggression. Thank goodness that this disease is confined to the world of video games. Except... Yep, this is a real-life cordyceps fungus, shown here in a clip from the 2006 BBC documentary Planet Earth. Much like the fictional infection of The Last of Us, the fungus infiltrates the bodies and minds of these ants. But rather than promoting aggression, it drives them to climb upwards to a high vantage point before gripping on tightly. Why? Well, because when the sporing body eventually erupts through the head of the ant, it provides it with the best possible location for the dispersal of its highly infectious spores. Evolution, you sick bastard. In fact, this very documentary was actually the inspiration for the infection in The Last of Us. Naughty Dog then took the cordyceps infection to a whole new level when designing arguably the most terrifying thing in the whole bloody game, the clickers. <laughs> Completely blind due to the eruption of sporing bodies from their eye sockets, clickers rely entirely on echolocation to seek out any unfortunate, uninfected humans. I'm sorry, but this is freaking cool. I mean, it may sound far-fetched scientifically, but actually a recent study from the University of Southampton clearly demonstrated that blind or visually impaired people can actually use human echolocation to locate certain objects. Check out this guy, he can even do it while riding on his bike. Amazing. But what about the disease in general? Could a real life cordyceps fungus ever make the leap to humans? Well, diseases can and do jump across the species barrier. It's called zoonoses, and some of the most severe and prevalent human infections actually originated in this way. Take human immunodeficiency virus, or HIV-1, probably the best known example of this. Well, it originated in non-humanoid primates in sub-Saharan Africa, and probably made the leap to humans sometime in the early 20th century. Now, interestingly, emerging zoonotic diseases tend to be pretty deadly, just like in The Last of Us. Now, this is due in part because our immune systems have never seen anything quite like it. Fortunately, though, fungal infections rarely cause serious problems to anyone with a healthy human immune system. Usually, the only people who do suffer from serious, life-threatening fungal infections tend to either be immunocompromised, so perhaps undergoing cancer treatment, or someone who comes into contact with a huge dose of the stuff. Add to that the fact that the cordyceps fungi primarily infects arthropods, like those unfortunate ants. So this means that they're geared to attack an immune system quite drastically different from our own, which in turn makes any species-to-species -species leap less likely. So I reckon we're pretty much safe then from a human cordyceps infection. That said though, emerging zoonotic diseases are inevitable, especially as the human race continues to grow and expand across the globe. So I guess we never really know what frightening infection could be lurking just around the corner. 
Anyway, guys, thanks very much for watching Reality Check as always. Make sure you follow, subscribe, and do all the usual social gubbins to make sure you never miss an episode of the show. I'll see you next Sunday.